like a Tonkiris were in a fight to the death. I never expected he would defeat him. Warrior of Argus, representative of the people, I will not forget you. That way leads to the very heart of Argus, the Elysian Shrine, where lies the graves of our very bravest warriors. Argus has finally fallen into their hands. But I will fight to the death for Argus and the princess. This battle is over. Where is Princess Harmonia? Your dull eyes cannot see the truth, and your tongue is only good for making a false show of power. I do not think you are the lion of a man that Kronos talked about. Away with you now! Cerberus, the holy beast lodging in a discarmer. Do you agree that this man has the caliber of a lion? So does everything go according to the prophecy of Kronos? Was that the guard dog of Hades? No, it was not. It was the fang that rages against injustice. Fang of rage, fight with me! You have done well to journey this far. Princess Harmonia? I was once called the sea warrior Argo. I am here to support you. The founder of Argos, now I understand. The voice that has led me here was yours. If that is so, please, please lead me to the princess. I wish to reward her hopes. I am only a mere warrior, but wish to give her peace of mind. Inside this place is a cave that leads to the Arthur's Mountain. She must be there. This is Siren. Take my discarmer with you, and hurry to Harmonia. After making a pile of corpses, he finally showed his lion mane of rage. This is no time to be talking so smugly. I will take care of him. But his fang is still blunt, and the brightness is weak. To illuminate the prophecy, we need to polish his fang with your blood. It sounds as if you want her to be defeated. The descendant of Argo, a gem of the sea. Your eyes grow brighter in your painful position. That is like Argo. You have her blood and his blood. Who are you? What do you think you know? It appears the sleeping lion has arrived. Caesarian. It became a colony of Rome. And then it invaded my land, Egypt. Argus took my life and everything that I held precious. Previously, my name was Cleopatra. Egypt was covered in glory. And it was the first battle of my son, Caesarion. Before I died, I ate the flesh of a titan. I became an evil one and ruined Argus. Because my son was already dead, I have never regretted abandoning the world of humans. I will bring the Titan's world to this earth. I am a shrine maiden of vengeance. How dare you kill my retainers? How will you seek vengeance for your dead son? How do you know of that? I am just a man who was a gladiator, and I have no memories. I know nothing of my father or mother. I do not even know my true name. No, it can't be. Perhaps it is. Yes, your true name is... My true name? Caesarian. He is still alive. 
And now, he is the warrior of Argus. Taking away their memories and making a mother and her child fight each other. Why does a god show such heartlessness? Stop talking such nonsense. You knew everything from the beginning. Correct. I allowed you to join the Titans because the prophecy will <gasps> only come to pass. With your defeat and your death. How cruel to do this to a comrade. Trust is the biggest mistake arising from weakness. I learned this truth from the unbelievable suffering I endured at the hands of the people of Argos. What? I was once a warrior of Hades, who has now disappeared from history. Don't move. Don't you understand why we have taken the princess? Surrender your Discarmer. By opening the gates of darkness with the three Discarmers of Hades, the seas, and the heavens, and by the soul of Kronos within your body, which I have trained, the prophecy will be accomplished. My God. Stop it, Kronos. I rejected that name. No, it can't be. I do not care about my life, but I will never give Caesarium to you. Don't be a fool. If you take it, once again, the gates of darkness will be... No! No! She's my... Ugh. Aristotle is waiting for you up ahead. He was once a mighty warrior of Hades. Who is he? The power of Discarmers, a power too much for mere humans, caused all the strife. Discarmers ruined his life. The warrior of heaven, Alexander, who was once our comrade, attacked Argos to acquire discarmers that had been hidden to ensure world peace after the War of Kronos. So Aristotle decided to fight with me. But because the people of Argos were so afraid of Alexander, they hated and attacked Aristotle. They turned against Aristotle and proved their surrender by doing so. Possibly, in despair, he succumbed to the temptation of Kronos. And he became one of the evil ones? Please, don't let him commit any more outrages. The man who had the heart of a lion. As long as your soul remains in your body, the prophecy will never come to pass. Then I shall smash your soul and take your body. lost the pride of a warrior of Hades. What do you know about me? Please don't.
Is that you, Argo? Through her blood, I am talking to you. Stop it. That man no longer exists. Not anymore. Yes, he does. You are still here. My body has become that of an evil one, and my reason has descended into darkness. What do you think remains? Your soul is still alive. It is a part of Argo. What? In my body flows the blood of the warrior of Hades, whom Argo once loved and tried to save. It couldn't be. Argo had my child. In that case, I will protect the princess, because she is my descendant. She's the blood of Argo and I running through her veins. I made a barrier, Riker. I beg you to come and kill me. I cannot do it myself, because I am immortal. I shall wait for you here, so go to him. Why? Why should he be a puppet of fate? You trample on fate, Cronus. You are pure evil! I will banish your soul into darkness forever! What? Princess Harmonia, please, wait for me. I swear my victory to this feather! Can you hear me, Caesarian? Can you hear the voice of your foolish mother? It is your voice. Are you all right? You must forget about me. Cronus is attempting to take over my body. He will be revived in a new body. Look, I am no longer the one that you can call your mother. My consciousness will soon be gone. I wish to die at your hands before I become what I do not wish to be. That's my reader with your blood. Cronus! <laughs> It's because you toyed with another's fate. You received no more than you deserved. Be gone with you! Mother... Caesar, Caesarian, did you defeat Kronos? Yes. Ah, well done. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's all right, Caesarian. You are my only pride and joy. Now, you must go. Please obey your mother's last wish.
You must stay alive. Take good care of the princess and her people. Rygar! I have accomplished my mission. Thank you for everything. I, I don't know how to... But these new memories are different from those I had before. From that moment on began the new memories of myself and Harmonia, who would restore peace and prosperity to Argus. I am Rygar, my real name, Caesarion.
Me haría falta una llave. Me haría falta una llave. Bueno, bueno, ya voy. Buenos días, señor. Buenos días, señorita. Mi empresa ha debido reservar una habitación a nombre de Walker, el bufete Marson y Lormon, para Kate Walker. Claro que sí. Su habitación es la número 6. Está en el primer piso. Gracias. Buenos días. Me llamo Kate Walker. Claro que sí. Walker, habitación 6, está en el piso de arriba. Ahora me voy a ver mi habitación. Como guste, señora. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Me lo enseñas? No, difícil. Trabajo de momo difícil. ¿Te llamas Momo? Yo me llamo Kate. Momo hace como Hans, dibuja. ¿Hans? No distraer a Momo. Trabajo de Momo difícil. ¿Me dejas ver tu dibujo? No, no he terminado. Vete. Bueno. En fin, te dejo trabajar. Buenos días, señor. Buenos días, señorita. Buenos días, me llamo... Claro que sí. Ahora me voy a ver mi habitación. ¿Cómo? Uy, la verdad es que no tengo ánimos para llevar la maleta. Vamos a ver quién puede ayudarme. Buenos días, señor. ¿Podría, por favor, subirme la maleta? Debe perdonarnos, señora Walker, por no cumplir con nuestros deberes. No es frecuente tener clientes, se olvidan los buenos modales. Entonces, ¿es usted la americana? Entonces, ¿es verdad lo que dicen? ¿Que viene a comprar la fábrica? No fábrica. Casa de Ana. Casa de Hans. ¿Cómo? Cállate, demonio de chico. Ah, no creo que nuestro pueblo le haya hecho buena impresión. Debe entenderlo. Hoy estamos de duelo. Acabamos de enterrar a la señorita Ana. Momo triste. Pero Hans no muerto. Hans lejos. Ana cuenta a Momo. Ana quiere mucho a Momo. Ya basta, Momo. Deja de molestar a la señora. Venga, desaparece. Que no te vea más por aquí. ¿Qué estábamos diciendo? Ah, sí, la señorita Ana. Una enorme pérdida para Baladilén. Esa es la verdad. Como su muerte causará el cierre de la fábrica? Pero usted está aquí para impedir eso, ¿verdad? Nuestro futuro está en sus manos, señora. ¿Ana? ¿Ana por Alper? ¿Se ha muerto?
Esta es su habitación. Esperamos que sea de su gusto, señora Walker. La dejamos ahora que descanse. Va a tener bastante trabajo. Sabe, para nosotros sería conveniente que se comprara la fábrica. No nos importaría nada que nuestro valle recobrase un poco de vida. Ah, debería haber conocido Baladilén antaño. Eso sí que sí, venían de todo el mundo a comprar los autómatas Boralberg. Ah, han dejado correo para usted. Bueno, si le hace falta cualquier cosa, no estaremos lejos, señorita Walker. Debería avisar a Marson de que ha muerto la señora Boralberg. Espero que esto no complique el caso. No me veo quedándome aquí mucho. Marson y Lorman, dígame. Con el señor Marson, por favor, de parte de Kate Walker. Un momento. Hola, Kate. Bueno, cuéntame, ¿qué tal va nuestro asunto? He llegado a Baladilén. Um, ha surgido un pequeño contratiempo, señor Marson, me temo. La señora Boralberg ha fallecido. Vaya por Dios. Pero habíamos previsto esta triste posibilidad y creo recordar que no tiene herederos. Sí, es verdad, pero... ¿Cuál es el problema, Kate? Póngase en contacto con su notario directamente. Ahora le pido a mi secretaria que le mande por fax los datos y una carta de presentación de parte del bufete. Muy bien, señor Marson. Bueno, ahora tengo que dejarla, Kate. Téngame al corriente. Yo... de la fábrica. No te preocupes. Mira, chicas, mira que son bobas. Serás menos el gracioso cuando padre se dé cuenta de que has robado este farol. Mira, por tu culpa me he llenado de barro. Mira, Ana, mira. Mira. He visto pinturas como estas en un libro en la biblioteca. Es... Lo has jurado, ¿te acuerdas? Es un secreto entre tú y yo. 
Mira, hay algo ahí arriba. No puede ser verdad. Parece un juguete. Quiero cogerlo, ya voy, alúmbrame. Hans, pero está demasiado alto. Ten cuidado, Hans. Hans, cuidado. Aunque desde que te fuiste padre no fue más que la sombra de sí mismo, al menos su presencia me reconfortaba y me sostenía el saber que yo le hacía falta. Todo lo hacía por él, ocuparme de la casa, administrar la fábrica, tratar con los empleados, encargarme de los clientes. Ahora, en cambio, no sé ya por quién ni por qué continúo viviendo. Son tiempos duros y esta horrible guerra lo trastorna todo. Nuestros autómatas ya no interesan a nadie, pero me aferro a la idea de tu próximo regreso, querido hermano. Ese día te ofreceré una fábrica digna de tu ingenio. Cuídate mucho. Con inmenso cariño. Ana.
Querido hermano, qué alegría recibir por fin noticias tuyas tras el largo silencio de estos años en guerra. Así que te has instalado entre los soviéticos. Por aquí se dicen de ellos cosas un tanto inquietantes. Pero lo importante es que estás bien de salud. El ambiente malsano de esa tremenda fábrica que describes no me inspira mucha confianza. Aunque parece que reconocen tu talento en lo que vale y que poco a poco los autómatas que diseñas van a reemplazar a los obreros en los trabajos más pesados. Me siento orgullosa de que los autómatas fuera de puedan contribuir, aunque sea modestamente, a mejorar la vida de la gente. Y puede que ello se convierta con el tiempo en un nuevo mercado para nuestra fábrica. Aquí, en Balavilén, procuramos curarnos lo mejor posible las heridas de guerra. Algunos han vuelto, otros no. La vida reivindica dulcemente sus derechos. Un abrazo muy fuerte, Anne. Oh, 
I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? <laughs> Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Do you not feel with all your soul how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine eons ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. Free will is an illusion. I found the tomb of Saraphan Cain. How could you profane a priest by turning him into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel and his enemies even closer. Who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? The Seraphan were saviors, defending Nazgul from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are opened, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Saraphan were noble, altruistic? <laughs> oh, don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours. before this drama unfolds. Completely. And destroyer, pawn and messiah. Welcome, time span soul. Welcome to your destiny. 